everybody, Boone White with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching our video today. Um, this is the 323 vlog and today we're doing a quick and simple video demonstration of how to go about replacing um, rocking chair springs. You'll see this on a lot of rocking chair mechanisms today. Um, and usually you'll see two different uh, styles. One is the style you see here, which is where it mounts into the side of the wooden frame. Uh, the other style is, um, I don't have it on me, but it's basically got a U-shaped track that your metal frame sits on top of and it bolts in um, through uh, the mechanism itself instead of into the frame. So um, I'll put a, a picture of that style so you get a better, better visual since I don't have one with me. But um, the one we're working on today, um, like I said, is the one that mounts into the side of the frame here. And I'm gonna just show you how we go about replacing that. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so as you see here, this is the spring that we're gonna be removing and replacing. Um, the number one thing you wanna make sure you do is these are always under tension, so be very careful. Um, but we created some blocks. These are about one and a quarter, one and a half inch, um, and a quarter inch wide. And we're going to lift up on the rear and insert that spacer back here. And that's gonna ensure that when you rock in the chair, it doesn't make any clanking or popping sounds. Um, that's probably the number one issue I see on these is, is that popping sound. So um, I'm gonna put a little pressure on the chair and lift up and we're gonna create a little space here to put our spacing block in. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing on the front side. There we go. And in our case, we have uh, six Phillips head screws attaching the spring to the frame. Um, sometimes these will be Torx head screws as well, but in our case, we, we had Phillips. So um, you'll see a couple different styles. Now, if you're, if you're only replacing um, the base of your unit, um, that's as far as you would need to go on this side, and then you would repeat the same step on the other side, and then just replace your base. But if you're needing to replace the whole spring like we are, um, then you go ahead and remove the three wooden screws on the base down here. Um, let me see if I can get a view in there for you. There you go. All right, now we're just gonna replace, remove those. All right, now that's the removal of our spring and you can go about replacing your new one, reinstalling your new one. So let's see here. So um, basically to reinstall it, you're gonna just repeat those steps. Now something I wanna demonstrate here is if you're gonna to have to do brand new holes, say the holes don't line up with the new spring towards the old spring, um, I would highly recommend um, getting this positioned where you need it. Um, you can always put a clamp on there if that helps you, but otherwise just sort of hold it with your hand and get a drill and a drill bit and do a, a little quick pre-drill. And that'll sort of help you ensure that you get your screws in the right spot. Okay. 
once you get those all installed, you can reverse what we did earlier, pull your spacers out, and should be good to go there. All right, everybody, that concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If y'all have any questions, um, definitely let us know. Feel free to comment below. We'd love to correspond with you and try to help you out in any way we can. If y'all have any, uh, any comments, definitely let us know. Um, as always, please hit that like button. That sort of helps us out in the YouTube algorithm, helps other people find the video. And um, as always, if you want to see our future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And hopefully we'll see you in the future. Um, we do try to put out weekly updates of new videos. And um, feel free to check out our library. We've got um, close to 75 videos, I think. So, um, you know, feel free to check all those out and let us know if you've uh, got any questions or any future videos that you want to see. We're always open for suggestions and we'll do everything that we can to try to produce that video. So um, we uh, hope to see y'all next time and uh, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you again. All right, later y'all.